All right, so we just got done watching Sailor Moon Season 1, Episode 12. 12. Uh, this episode is called uh, I Want a Boyfriend 2, A Trap on a Luxury Cruise. Yeah. One of the one of the most fantastic titles. One of the most before. fantastic titles, but of course, the, the English title. Yeah, the North American title disgusting again. Disgusting English title. Uh, Cruise Blues. Cruise where Blues. Where they just dumb it down once again. Fucking hell, yeah. Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah. Be careful. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh, almost hit a double there, man. Yeah. It's like... Even what are you been doing today? You're looking a little tan. You got the wife beater on. Yeah, today. sorry, man. Um, beater. I mean, I guess tank top, tank top. Anyway, uh, so we, um, so this episode yeah. immediately we we are we're in the Queen Barrel world. We're in the Dark Kingdom, and yeah. uh, Jadette is uh, approached by Thetis, who is a uh, sort of a a different uh person of of maybe the same stature as Jadette. Or, or is, yeah, is, the same uh, like realm. They're all well. No, they're together. the same ranking though. Clearly, okay, like, yeah, they yeah. just maybe are are off on different uh, tan like tangents. Yeah. Uh, one th- fetuses, which we don't are not. You know, we don't get to know about. But yeah. uh, he seems to not like to work with her. Uh, but she says she has the perfect plan to steal energy from people, and she kind of seems to have a lot of admiration yeah. for Jadette, But he doesn't seem to and, have the same uh, for her. and he he does this plan without running it by the queen. Queen Beryl, um, yeah. Which is there? There continues to be tension yeah. between Queen Beryl and Jadette. and uh, the plan makes sense. I mean, uh, a love, a love cruise, and again, you know, the harnessing of human energy it has to be from a strong uh, emotion. They refer and, to it as Operation Romantic yeah. Cruise. So all these people like in love on a cruise. That's the like maximum human energy, especially being in the ocean. It would make sense that uh, these people kind of like go missing. Uh, in what they um, called here, what was it? The um, uh, evil seawater powers. Yeah, yeah, th- yeah. So Thetis apparently has has evil seawater powers. Uh, her and Jadette team up in this uh, to to try and take down the sailors. Um, it seems that that they're becoming more aware of who the sailors actually are. Mm-hmm. They maybe aren't completely it, but they're definitely they're now. Uh, the sailors are familiar with Jadette, and Jadette is truly familiar with the sailors. He's not yeah. just trying to steal So the feud is definitely emo. there now. It's, yeah, and, it's, it's uh, definitely ramping up. There's definitely fire building yeah. in, in, uh, in each um, and every character. But you can, I, what I've been noticing is the tension between Rey and Usagi uh, is still... It seems to be... Um, it seems to, and it seems to be making Usagi into more of a... Uh, crybaby type. More of a crybaby yeah. type, but also Which Usagi is developing some of Rey's uh, headstrongness. You know, yeah, some of, but in some kind of, of a condition. negative, more stubborn way yeah. where she, Which, does, like, yeah, she won't the, listen. Without she the maturity of, of uh, yeah. Sailor Mars. So she just keeps uh, proving that she's kind of just the immature one. And Yeah, um, I find the infighting uh, definitely keeps uh, the dynamics uh, interesting. Yeah, uh, we also, we, we saw, we, we got Yumino returning... To crushing from Usagi, I feel yeah. I feel as though we haven't seen a, we haven't, a good yeah. motive of that in, in a couple of um, episodes. And, th- and this was the perfect opportunity for that. And obviously, so Usagi is obsessed with the idea of love. She wants to fall in love and all this. And she the crush, the, the whole thing yeah. with the crush is a big part of this. And then, of course, Ray tells her it's silly. You should be focusing your energy on something else. And then Ray wins the tickets to the romance cruise. And she and, does so uh, by using her inexplicable um, power yeah. powers to manipulate chance through uh, prayer and, yeah. and, and, and sort of spiritual manipulation, mm-hmm. which does not seem to be one of her sailor powers. It seems to be that she is just so in tune with the universe that she can make things happen with focus. Yeah, which very is spiritual. Very, uh, and I, I find that to be very appealing. Yeah. Very appealing character motive because it's it's a mystery, and I, I don't know if it's going to get unpacked, and I, yeah, I'm, yeah. Not ag- I'm not against that. Uh, it's, it's a, you know... It's and a, then... Um, so then she wins the tickets, and obviously Ray is very annoyed by Usagi's uh, immaturity, and then she asks Ami to go on the cruise with her, who's just the quiet, the, the kind of library type, um, just, like, smart girl. I mean, you know, we, we know Ami by now. And she convinces her by saying that, like, they'll get know, boyfriends. Is... Oh, we're gonna get boyfriends. No, 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 but Ami doesn't care about that. She yeah. can... Ray convinces Ami to do that by sort of saying, like, this is, you know, this is a cultural experience here. Learn oh, a lot by yeah. seeing this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um... And Ami just seems indifferent, like, the the whole time. Like, uh, uh, Luna respects Ami the most out of all the sailors, We like, very yeah. clearly. Ami, Ami, though, is uh, also incredibly kind in that she yeah. really went. But Usagi really, really wanted to go. Why yeah. are you asking me? Yeah. And and she's she's easily convinced because she's trying to please everybody. Yeah, but exactly. Uh, the and, one, the yeah. one thing with Ami is that she doesn't have a lot of conviction uh, yeah, to herself. Sure. But she's she's got a lot of knowledge and she's got a lot of, uh, uh, she's, she's very capable. Yeah. And then, okay, um, wait, let's go back to the, the raffle prize to get the tickets okay. there. I found it very interesting. So the consolation prize in the raffle, if you fail, was tissues. That's oh, a, yeah, That's yeah, just that's a great funny. gag. That's, that's just a like gag. a really, really good uh, uh, 
comedic moment in this episode for sure. That's a, yeah. Um, and then uh, so Yusagi still wants to get on the cruise, and she uses her uh, moon prism power makeup, and uh, she doesn't she doesn't use it with the intention to defeat the bad guys. No, no, and that's what Luna, Luna's like. No, you're supposed to use it for justice. She's like quipping so uptight, but she is the sailor warrior of love and justice. So. Uh, she, she should be using it for justice, and then she turns into pretty camera woman, which was kind of a weird way. I think that might have just been a um, a translation thing uh, from Japanese. Perhaps, yeah, yes. yeah. Uh, so pretty camera woman, and then she essentially just turns into what a what like you, you would call a hipster nowadays, basically. Like she looks like a hipster. She's got the short kind of bowl cut thing going, uh, jeans slightly baggy, cuffed at the bottom, blah blah blah. Mm. Camera, and then just so she can get on the cruise as a um, uh, photographer, I guess. She's, you know, shorter. She looks very hip. Looks very much... Def she, her, her sort of uh, uh, moon prism makeup in yeah. this one was definitely uh, tailored after, like, an MTV journalist or something. Yeah, probably for, for the... Because sure. the, this came out in 1992. 1992. So. May, May 30th, 1992. Yeah, yeah, summertime. In, in, uh, summertime, baby. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, and it, so, the, the yeah, this episode ends with, uh, you know, the three sailors defeating Thetis and killing... Thetis, yeah. who's with Thetis, and the thing about Thetis is we don't normally get the amount of uh, backstory on the Yuma, yeah. on, on the monster of the week in this one, and it ends with her dying, um, and because Jadette didn't uh, sort of discuss this with Queen Beryl, she is really, really, yeah. really not happy. And the fact that Jadite has uh, just repeatedly failed. Repeatedly failed. I mean, twelve times now. 12 He's starting times. to get frustrated with yeah. himself. Yeah. He's getting frustrated with himself, and Queen Barrel's getting frustrated with him, and is basically saying, like, if you keep screwing up, like, you're gonna uh, there's consequences. See consequences. And yeah. and I think that we're getting there. Um, we're certainly getting that. We're I mean, twelve if he episodes up again, The yeah. traditional sort of arc is a thirteen episode in anime, in my experience. Yeah. So I'm thinking that next episode, this might be the 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 grand finale for Jadette. I'm just being yeah, really, he might. Um, he might kick the can. Might kick the can here. Um, and Jadette is a lot weaker willed than we've been led to believe, I think, because yeah. he's definitely not doing a good job. He, he didn't, wouldn't fight the sailors at the end of this episode that he yeah. used to, much to their confusion. Yeah. Well, did he go back willingly or did she somehow bring him back to the, wherever they, that kind of realm that well, he took himself back. Did to he the, take himself back? Just himself back to the realm. Yeah. He, he but he escaped was, instead of fighting. So maybe, okay. maybe he's, he's more of a, of a planner I didn't, than I, a fighter. Cause I thought, I saw that as Queen Barrel, like. Like forcing him back? Forced him back somehow. It's hard to say. Yeah. It's hard to say because it was a little quick. It was quick. Quick chunk um, there. And then she just like uh, basically tells him. What Sailor Moon's definitely getting stronger because Thetis, the villain in this episode, yeah. seemed to be quite powerful in, yeah. in that and she had complete control over seawater. Yeah. And she was stopped quite easily by the Moon Tierra action. I also, I noticed that uh, Sailor Mars and Sailor Mercury's transformations were not shown in this episode, I guess. Yeah, I mean, they did that the was Sailor Moon. Time, yeah, time, time. They did the whole Sailor Moon trend. Yeah, there was enough of that. And then sure. the, and we hit all their powers, too. I mean, we did the bubble and all that. So, I mean, to do the whole makeover thing, uh, trans transition would be a little much. Um, but and then, you know, and then, uh, the, the boat. Man, the Monsters of the Week are getting a lot better. I yeah, I mean, say. these guys, I, 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 yeah. Did I, did, have I been saying Thetis? Was it Titus, actually? Was that the... Thetis. No, Thetis is the name, Thetis, yeah. yeah. Um, these, like, silver surfer-looking kind of goop monsters. Yeah. Goopy monsters. Goopy guys. Um, the, yeah, I mean, but they were easy to defeat, it seemed like. They just kind of... They, they were more interesting, though. Yeah. Um... I guess uh, that that probably wraps it up. Yeah, this, mean, was a, this was this was a good this was a good episode for sure. It was uh, a solid episode. I wouldn't definitely say it was the best. It was better than the last one, that's for sure. Yeah, last one. But yeah. Uh, I certainly enjoyed this episode. Anyways, uh, you know, thanks for watching.